Today is Wednesday, July 5th, 2017. Welcome to the Daily Mix. I hope you all had a fantastic and happy 4th of July, spending time with friends and family, relaxing by the pool or at the beach, certainly over the barbecue. And speaking of the 4th, marketing brand and product against a holiday like this without looking too commercial or cheesy is always difficult. However, brands like Nathan's Famous and Macy's have it down to a science. As an example, yesterday's Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest drew tens of thousands of people to the Coney Island Boardwalk on Stillwell Avenue and millions more on ESPN2 to watch live as Joey Chestnut took his 10th mustard belt title after eating a record-breaking 72 hot dogs in 10 minutes. God, my stomach's killing me thinking about that. Captain Morgan, a first-time advertiser and sponsor looking to solicit the demographic and target that watches this contest, did a fantastic job on integration of their new Live Like a Captain campaign on ESPN. Congratulations to Diageo, which owns Captain Morgan. Macy's, on the other hand, wow! They promised they were going to deliver the number one biggest show in over a decade for the 41st annual 4th of July fireworks display. They delivered. Let me tell you, fantastic job in integration, both organic and paid, with respect to the NBC telecast, which also featured a concert and other performances to drive viewership. Amazing job, guys. Going on to the mass market, Target continues to dominate and use exclusivity and branding to drive business. They're launching three new female-oriented clothing lines as well as a home goods line. This comes on the heels of them launching a teen and child clothing line last year, which is wildly successful. They have a history of doing this, guys. There's a reason why they do so well. They're a genius at branding. However, it is interesting to note that they are pulling men's-oriented Massimo and Merino brands off the shelf later this year due to poor performance in sales. You know, Target is incredible, and I have a feeling Walmart is going to feel the pain in the fourth quarter. You know, they are so laser-focused on their war with Amazon, I personally think they've taken their eye off of Target, which is a big mistake considering their branding genius going into the fourth quarter when they spend heavily against Holiday. So keep an eye on this one. Off to specialty retailer Williams Sonoma. Talk about a phenomenal announcement. Big new concept store in Seattle that's combining traditional kitchen and food products with home furnishings. What's great about this one, though, is that they are actually going to include curated food offerings from local businesses, thereby supporting small business, which accounts for more than 60% of the workforce. Their timing couldn't be better, given that spend on clothing and other amenities is down 3%, while spend on home decor and food is up a couple of points. You know, the last week has been phenomenal testing out new concepts for The Daily Mix, and we've gotten some great feedback, but we'd love more. Please email us your thoughts, comments, and story ideas to thedailymix at gmail.com. Thank you for watching The Daily Mix. We'll see you soon.